One of the most useful tools in digital art is the lasso tool. If you don't use it much or at all, here's some ideas for how you can. And if you do use it, here's how and why you should use it more. To sum it up, the lasso tool allows you to draw selections and then paint inside them. Every decent art program has one. One big reason it's so great is that it can really speed up your process. Making unique shapes with a brush like the round brush and an eraser takes time, but the lasso tool lets you do the same thing with ease. You can also use it to add or erase parts of a shape that you want to adjust. By holding shift, you can make a bunch of separate selections and then paint inside all of them at once, which works great for something like creating a bunch of leaves. If you have line art you need to fill in with color, lassoing is one way to add color efficiently. I prefer to hold down shift and make smaller selections at a time, rather than trying to select an entire object in one go. This makes the results more clean and accurate. Keep in mind though that your selection doesn't need to be perfect. Don't stress about doing it over and over until it is, because there's nothing stopping you from adding and erasing afterwards to adjust. Sometimes I like to use a texture brush to paint within my selections. It looks cool to have textured shapes with clean, hard edges. Experiment with what different looks you can get with the different brushes. You can also use the lasso tool to create the illusion of form. Everything is made up of shapes, with hard and or soft edges. In many cases, a hard edge is paired with a soft edge in the same shape. Many organic things, like creatures, will have a lot of this. A hard edge and a soft edge. The soft edge fades into the next shape, sometimes being a very gradual transition like a gradient, not even really an edge. So, say we want a hard edge right here. Lasso right along where that hard edge will be, and then make a really large swing back around to the start of it. Get a soft airbrush and paint right on the hard edge. Make sure the brush doesn't touch any other edge of the selection. Deselect, and there we go! Keep doing the same thing at different areas, and pretty soon, you'll have something that looks three-dimensional. Keep in mind that you can invert your selection in order to switch to painting the space around it. Very handy. There are plugins for programs like Photoshop that automatically fill your lasso tool selections with a solid color. This is useful for when you have a lot of small, differently colored selections to make. Like how if you zoom in on this painting by Ben Eblen, you'll see that the skin and other areas are made up of a bunch of lasso selections, and as a whole, these selections create a textured look. For Photoshop, you can buy Kyle's version on Gumroad for a few bucks, or there's also a free version I use that seems safe and works nearly the same way. Both are linked below. For other programs, there may be similar plugins you can get, but unfortunately, I'm not sure. Definitely worth looking into though. Yet another use for the lasso tool is making adjustments to your sketch. If you want to change the size or position of anything in your sketch, you can easily select it and adjust to your liking. So much easier than erasing and redrawing, especially if you're used to traditional drawing. Automatically resorting to erasing something to change it may be a habit you need to break. You could even try sketching just by lassoing shapes. This is a good way to practice making good shapes and also getting a good sense of value. If you'd like to see more, here's a couple videos you might find interesting. Thanks for watching!